After so many months I decided to make this guide, because I have seen too many top boat Tashkents. This line of ships have been an extreme example of the player base. It is either abused by unicorns, or driven by noobs thinking this ship is useless. So let's start off with a tech tree analysis. First you have the destroyer line, then you have the cruiser line, and the battleship line. Yes they are cruisers without citadels, they are so cruiser that they forgot how to destroy her. Here is how you climb the tree. After the torpedo monster, you start off your cruiser life with its Aslav, where you are stuck with 4 km torpedoes for the next half of the tree, so you start melting the enemy with your guns. Next you have Podvoisky, where you have your first taste of balance for having big guns and vodka powered engines. Then you have Ginevni, where you get downgraded apart from a slight increase in DPM. You have slower turret traverse, which means you need to wait for the guns to turn when you are zigzagging. Next you have the Minsk, where you begin your journey in Russian bias. Kiev makes the experience better by having usable torps and secondaries. Next you copy the Kiev and make it slightly bigger to make the Tashkent, which has a little bit more health and the most balanced consumable in the history of ships. You run heels, because you are badass. Finally, you are given 50mm of selenium armor plate and an extra turret to fully embrace Russian bias. This is how you play this ship. First, to cap or not to cap. You are the best gunboat for tier 7 or below, so definitely go for it. But from Kiev onwards, cruiser syndrome kicks in, and it is getting difficult. You have to see if there is enough team support before moving in. For Kabarovsk, you do not go into caps, because you will die, quickly. Why they turning? But, if the torpedo boat is going to cap, you should follow him in about 4 kilometers behind, so that you both will be spotted at roughly the same time, then you can help him to secure the cap. Otherwise, you go alone, you hug map borders, and use them to dodge enemy salvos. <laughs> you tell your team your plan before the game starts, so that noobs won't follow you and commit suicide. You put speed boost mod 1 to run at 48 knots for almost the entire match. If the enemy ignores you, you sneak behind them and create awkward situations. This is so common that you can do this almost every other game along this line of ships. Here are two more tips in dealing with carriers. Because of your incredible speed, you can either turn into torps to dodge them at an angle impossible to other peasant destroyers. Or you can turn away from torps and completely ignore them. For other ships, you stay at more than 10 kilometers away so that RN Jesus shall give a thigh dispersion. You do not take close fights, because you turn like a bus. 
お前はもう死んだ何おわたくびで If the enemy shoot at you, you do not dodge the first salvo, because scientific research says 99% of the time the enemy cannot aim at ships traveling at 48 knots. Then if the enemy focus fire on you, you nope. turn around and kite them, because they can't catch up with you. You do not do smoke firing and keep running, unless you are trapped or almost dead. Oh shit! You should have noticed this guide has been very helpful, so it is time for some shit talking. You are a rude, terrible person. After you created awkward situations, you redefine capping by actually parking into the docks. As I said before sometimes it is better if you don't cap at all, but because a lot of noobs don't understand how this ship works, you will just get reported by salty retards. You should stay alive for as long as you can, so that you can carry your team, but sometimes it is just impossible, and there's nothing you can do about it. But it's okay, you have the highest chance of getting a solo warrior this way. RNG Jesus. Speaking of RNG Jesus, you should pray to him before every match, because you know. The world could always use more. Fire! What? <laughs> you have very good torpedoes that works half the time. They are very useful only during cyclone or when you are retreating. Because of their incredibly slow speed, if you fire backwards it will add 4 kilometers to their effective range. Use them to slow your enemies advance, because they are so slow that they may as well be mines. You do not need AA guns, because a Ren Jesus will decide whether to save you. Hello darkness, my old friend. <laughs> I've come to talk with you again. <laughs> or send you to Gulag. What the fuck is that? 
If you see carriers and map border huggers on the enemy team, Hello. you get close to them and make some friends. FBI, open up! 